Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another very cold and brisk wintry evening. Um, it's December now, which I actually really like. I love the holidays and I love December and I love January. Um, interestingly, as you all know, sun goes down a lot earlier and it gets dark a lot earlier. Um, I'm a sunlight person, <laughs> so I don't really like it when it gets really dark early, but I had read something the other day that was talking about winter and turning inward and winter forces us to kind of stay inside and stay home and look inward and be with our loved ones and our family a little bit more. So that was a really cool concept to me. And uh, my kids have been like, I want to bake, let's make hot chocolate, let's make cookies. So it's been, it's been kind of nice. Um, tonight we're going to be doing something based on a painting of mine called Blessings. You guys may not know it, but you guys actually influence what I paint a lot because your comments, I read your comments, and sometimes when you comment on older things, I have to go back and watch them to see what I did. <laughs> and there was a comment on this video of ours called Blessings from a couple years ago that was multiple straight pours, and something really cool happened in that one. In the very beginning, I poured one of the cups and tilted it, and this golden figure appeared with some little silver figures in front of it and that sort of just stayed there throughout the whole painting and as I tilted it it got bigger and then by the end of it it kind of looked like this golden lady sort of you know blessing these little children and it was it was I don't know it was really really a powerful moment in me I had that one drying down there in the studio and I looked over because something kept blinging out of the corner of my eye and I looked at it and I was like just the way the light was hitting it, all the metallics were really popping and I was like, it really literally took my breath away. So we're going to play with that multiple straight pour feeling tonight. I will link blessings for you up here so you guys can go back and take a look at that one if you want to. Um, let's have some fun. So this is a 24 by 30. Um, the original one was a 24 by 36. I have painted my sides and edges with one of my colors, the dioxazine purple, and I have taped and pinned the back. So the colors we are using tonight, first we are using Liquitex Basics Dioxazine Purple. And everything is mixed with Mix Pour tonight. And I have added water to this. So it does leave a mound on a mound, but sinks into itself fairly quickly. And this is such a beautiful color, but it does dry very dark. Um, the next color that we are using is this one, Liquitex Basics. This is Cobalt Blue. And I've had that tub forever. So this is the cobalt blue. Initially, I thought I was picking up the phthalo blue. And this is a little more light blue than the phthalo blue. Which made me make this as our base coat color. This is the cobalt blue with a little bit of the dioxazine purple in it. If you can see the color difference between these two. How I deepened it up with a little bit of the dioxazine. And I think that's actually going to work well with the dioxazine. Because that way we don't have two very dark colors. The dioxazine will deepen up the cobalt and there might be some lightening of the dioxazine because of the cobalt. Uh, we also are using my Amsterdam bronze, which I love. You guys know that. This one still feels a smidge thick. That's okay. And then I'm using Amsterdam pearl blue. I hope it's the blue. Yeah, pearl blue. Okay. <laughs> Feels a little thick also. I'm gonna water this down just a touch. Just a little bit of water. There we go. That's better. Just a little smoother. Might as well do the bronze too since we're here. It's cool, you can almost see like where the paint breaks for a second and then when it starts to come back together to itself. I kind of love that. <laughs> so that's our bronze and our Amsterdam pearl blue and then I'm using this one which is one of the new this little piggy pigments. This is Prenite which I absolutely kind of am in love with. It's so pretty. Gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. Like a silvery pistachio or a silvery sagey green. Kind of minty. 
really really pretty though I love this and I'm very excited to see what it does with all these other colors so okay what we're gonna do I think I'm gonna put down a bit of a base coat and then I'm going to fill five of these five ounce cups and do straight pours around the canvas so that's the game plan let's actually fill these up first I thought I had five. Yeah, there we go. Okay. You can put them closer together, please. How's that? Me. Okay. So, I want some of that pearl green, or pearl blue. I'm saying pearl green. <laughs> the pearl blue in the bottom. Just a little bit. Okay, I think I'm going to put a little tiny bit of the dioxazine purple on top of that. So remember, whatever's in your cup first is going to come out last. That's going to be the center of each individual little pour. So I want that pearl blue in the center. Then the purple, now some of that cobalt blue. layer of that. Let's see how it goes. Um, I think I want to put another layer of cobalt. Well, no, I have cobalt on the other side, huh? All right. I'm going to put the bronze in and not be chickens. And I think I might put one more thin layer of the cobalt in there. like a bartender <laughs> <laughs> and then a little bit of purple on the top because it has to come to the brim <laughs> well it's not a matter that it has it's more the fact of what colors do I want it to be based on what color the base coat is going to be so that's what I'm trying to influence not that I'm completely a brat there's <laughs> actually method to my madness ah. okay Oh Alright. Now what I'm trying to decide is if I want to put down I think I do just want to put down the base. Okay, we're gonna put the base coat down. This is that cobalt blue with some dioxazine purple in it. And I'm just gonna spread it out. So our base coat is down. Uh, let's do one of these pours. I'm gonna kind of do a straight pour, kind of from up high. Are you ready? ready? Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I alas that I am. Two. 
Where are you going? I'm going over here. Okay, go ahead. see the difference between getting closer and staying up high. I think I like the getting closer better. Okay, let's go over here now. Okay. Yep. torch it after I tilt it. This is looking pretty cool though. I love this purple and blue and I love the prenite in there with the cobalt. It looks really pretty. Interestingly enough the bronze looks gold while I'm pouring it but now it looks more bronze. So all right let's tilt this out and see what happens. I kind of love this one so try to keep that one. Just gonna sort of tilt this back and forth for a second to make these five puddles all become one puddle and we're gonna go off that bottom corner. Open this up in here right now. Nope. I think we're gonna take some off of this side right there because all the way to the paint's over there now. but I'm not loving the composition. I mean, I love what's happening here and I like what's happening there. I don't know if I like this whole thing. What do you think, Joy? 
Um, I would say keep going, getting that one off. <clears throat> Not that you're trying to get rid of it, it's just kind of in the way of this developing those other two. Yeah? I don't know. Trying to lose that last one down there. Some of it I like it better. Let's see. I think it's the cobalt that I'm not enjoying. I don't mind the purple, but there's like, there's too much cobalt. Cells coming up over there. All right, well, let me just wipe my hands off. I'll take a look at it. I love this one over here. It's really pretty. Oh. And that's really cool too. That sort of winter solstice. It's like completely pitch dark by six o'clock. <laughs> So this is really cool. Remember we put that pearl blue in as the first color in our cups and this is why to get that lighter center with more contrast surrounded by the purple and the cobalt. Really cool. I love the prenite in here and I love the bronze. Okay, this is pretty neat looking. Still not completely crazy about this but I do like this part and I do like this part and I kind of see an owl face which actually I was listening to an owl last night. <laughs> We have a lot There's of a couple of them. Yeah. Sometimes they powwow with each other. Do you think this should go up or down more? No. You think it should just stay? Uh huh. It's not too much like a head. face. No. is cool. I happy. I'm happy. <laughs> this is beautiful. And this is beautiful and this is all really cool. And I like the cells actually. The cells are making me like it a lot more. What's happening in there. So I'll show you guys when it's dry. 
thank you so much for being here with us tonight. I know I've been saying I'm going to show you stuff dry. Uh, I have been posting pictures of it on my Facebook art page when stuff is dry, like the um, the little pour away fluid arts piece we did, Jewel Tree. Uh, I did post pictures of that, and I'll post some more. It's like I have 10 minutes of sunlight in the morning, and if I miss it, I miss it. So. <laughs> I will try again tomorrow though and hopefully one of these days I'll be able to actually take stuff outside and show you in the sun so uh, hopefully that will happen with this one we'll see you soon if you guys enjoyed this video please take a moment and like the video and subscribe if you would and I love it if you guys share the videos that's always amazing and awesome of you and uh, you know I really do appreciate all of you so thank you so much I hope you have a wonderful wonderful night and you enjoy that early darkening, that going inward, that deepening. So, anyways, we'll see you soon.